does laundry have you feeling like this? Then you are in the right spot for some extreme laundry motivation today. Hello there everyone and welcome. I am so glad that you are here watching today. My name is Lisa and for anyone new, I have a passion for homemaking and housekeeping and I especially love doing laundry and I know that is rare but I am bringing you all this extreme laundry motivation today. So go get your laundry basket. We are going to sort, wash, dry, fold, and repeat. I recorded this over the span of three days, and this is what I do weekly. There's a little bit more this time because we have all been sick, but laundry is never ending, and I am here to motivate and encourage you. In addition to the laundry motivation today, I want to hopefully give you some tips and tricks that work for me to A, love doing laundry, or at the very least, to not dread and hate it so much. B, do it efficiently so that it is not such a daunting task. And C, do it to so that your clothes are maintained in a really nice way so that the investment you've made in them extends the life of your clothing. I'm starting out with just your basic products. I switch around on my laundry detergent. Right now I'm using the seventh generation concentrated laundry detergent from Target. I'm using downy fabric softener and then I use the downy scent beads on my towels. So that's straightforward. I start with my towels today because they were the biggest volume. They were taking up the most space in my hampers and overflowing. So by starting with the bulkiest, largest loads, it reduces the visual clutter and it tricks your mind into thinking you've accomplished way more than you have with just two loads of towels. So that's tip number one for you. Start with the loads that you have the biggest volume of and reduce the visual impact you have in your laundry hampers. My next laundry suggestion and tip for you is to fold the towels and clothes, but the towels in this instant, fold them right when they come out of the dryer. You are going to hate folding your clothes and your linens regardless. So you might as well get them done, get them put away, and then you're over it. Like they're not in that basket, in the corner, on that chair, staring at you, like taunting you all week as you dread folding them. They're already done and they're already put away. Filming for you guys really puts a time stamp on how long this actually takes. And that is another reason to start with towels because they are so quick and easy to fold and to put away. It really only took me five minutes to fold these towels and put them away, swap them out, and start another load. It's better now than after we have drifted off too far. Let's tear down these walls. Our destiny has come. We're walking down a path and the wind changes at last like a song about now, if the putting away of the clothes, towels, and linens is overly daunting and stressful for you, let's together evaluate why that could possibly be. As I sort these clothes, I will just chat your ear off about this. If putting your clothes and your linens away is a huge chore for you, evaluate why. Are your closets and linen cabinets overstuffed? Do you have too many of the same items that it's just too much to keep up with all of those things? 
For instance, in our household, we have four of us. My oldest son is away at college, so right now there's three of us, but there's four in my family. Do you have a reasonable amount of towels for four people? Or do you find that you have 50 bath towels for four people, and so you use down until the cupboard is bare, so then you have 50 towels dirty, 50 towels to wash, fold, and put away, Maybe the problem isn't the laundry itself, but the volume and amounts of laundry that you have to do. Evaluate that in your own home, and maybe that is a place where you could go from 50 towels to 25 towels and make it a more manageable amount. And that little tip will hopefully make laundry and getting laundry done, folded and put away easier for you. Okay, I'm really chatty today. I hope y'all don't mind. I'm gonna let your ears rest while you watch this laundry motivation. I will be back shortly with some more laundry tips. I also want to let you know that today's video is in collaboration with Charmaine at Charmaine Rosalie and Becky at Stay at Home Mom Life with Becky. They have graciously hosted this collaboration so I will have their channels as well as the playlist linked with all the other videos in my description box below. So when you're done watching here you can pop on over and check them out through those links. Thank you Charmaine and Becky for being such wonderful hosts yet again for this Laundry Motivation Collaboration. see it a whole lot here on my videos but my husband and my sons do help me around the house I put all of their clothes in piles by person and then they are responsible for getting it and putting it away I have done this with them for as long as they have been able when they were too little to do it themselves I always helped them but my method has always been to make piles by person by like items so that it's easier for them to put away. If you have little, little tiny kids, I am your light at the end of the tunnel. Mine are 21 and almost 18. <laughs> they do become independent functioning young adults and humans. So <laughs> it's coming. You just gotta put in your time now. It's coming.
you can see from when I sorted my laundry earlier I am pretty particular about how I sort my colors and what I wash together so that is all a personal preference for me I do like to sort close to color wise and temperature wise I do not wash any of my clothes in hot temperatures warm temperatures I use cold on all my colors I feel that it gets them cleanest and smelling the nicest it maintains their shape and their colors when I wash on a colder temperature sheets and towels I wash on hot water I feel it sanitizes them and gets them clean as well I know some people also wash their towels and sheets on cold and that is okay do what works for you do what you are able to maintain do not compare yourself to the way I'm doing it I am here to motivate and guide you encourage you give you tips and tricks that work for me but that might not necessarily work for you so adjust it accordingly and by no means leave this video feeling like you are lacking in any way in your homemaking skills we are here to uplift and encourage each other when we wake hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright My next laundry tip for you seems simple but is actually probably the hardest concept and that is to just find gratitude and thankfulness. It is not always easy to get in that mindset depending on what else is going on in your life, your life experiences and you know just the nature of how we are as humans but try to find that gratitude that you have clothes to wash. I have a lot of YouTuber friends that are in other countries and oh my goodness, they wash by hand. They do not have washing machines. Some of them don't even have electricity. Um, a lot of my friends in the other countries don't have dryers. They have to hang dry everything and when the weather gets bad or cold, they have to do it all inside. I feel like we are very fortunate here in the United States that while there are some people that also have that limitation in our country, for the most part, we all have access to some sort of washer and dryer, be it in our home or at a laundromat. And so find that gratitude for modern conveniences, for jobs that provide the money to pay for a home, to have the clothes, to all those things. Like I said, it seems very simple in concept, but it's very hard to flip that switch in our minds and find the gratitude from I have to do laundry to I get to do laundry. Even in the hard time, you and I can weather any storm. You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby
this laundry tip I share a lot and that is to use your delayed start function on your washing machine if you have one. I am setting up this load of laundry the night before. It will wash about an hour before I wake up so by the time I get up and going in the morning it will be ready to switch over to the dryer and start another load. This is very effective and efficient for getting laundry done. At the end of day two, this is all the laundry we have left. We have really worked through all those dirty clothes, haven't we? So this is the next morning and I'm going to run my dryer for just a little bit to fluff out clothes that sat there overnight and then I'm going to fold the hang dry items that I washed yesterday. They are dry and ready to go in their homes. Turn it up, turn it up, we got this. And you can see how effective that was to use that delayed start. So here we are. I am barely out of my pajamas with a cup of coffee in me. And we are already taking on and finishing up the last of the laundry. That is why I love that delayed start feature. Another tip I have for you that may help with doing laundry, create a laundry space that you enjoy being in. Whether your laundry room is in a basement, if it's tucked away in a hall closet, if it's a smaller set stacked, whatever it is, get it to work for you. Make it aesthetically pleasing. If you have a dark laundry space, Paint it white, put a good light in, brighten it up. If you don't have enough storage, put a shelf above your washer to hold your laundry supplies on. Create a space that works for you. And I'm not suggesting you go out and spend hundreds to thousands of dollars making over your space. It could be something simple, repurpose items around your home to create that area that you don't mind spending time in. I recently did this my space I make sure it functions for me that it's clear and tidy that I have the supplies that I need like detergents and softeners and dryer sheets and stain sprays all those things set yourself up for success before you even start I have been super chatty today talking your ears off I hope that it has all been encouraging information laundry tips tricks and definitely laundry motivation that has inspired you to get in there and get your laundry done but also maybe approach your laundry with a different mindset and attitude going forward I just want that to be encouragement to you Thank you all so much for being here and watching today. This has been an amazing journey. I am coming up on one year of my YouTube channel and I never imagined 
what it would become and I look forward to seeing what it can be in another year and that is all thanks to the blessings that God has bestowed upon me in this channel as well as to each and every one of you my regular viewers my new viewers people that decide to subscribe people that watch one time I love and adore you all and am thankful for each and every one of you if you do enjoy content like this, I invite you to hit that red subscribe bar and join the Uniquely Lisa family. I would love to have you here for every video going forward. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, share, and comment below. I love to hear from you guys. I hope you were able to get a lot of laundry done with me, or if you're watching now and you're going to do laundry later, I hope this is a source of encouragement for you. Don't forget to go check out Charmaine and Becky's channel, as well as the laundry motivation playlist that I have linked down below. Thank you ladies for hosting us. You have been so kind and gracious, and I have enjoyed working with you so much. And if you want to see an extreme clean on this laundry room and the laundry makeover, I will have those videos linked here on the end screen. You can click on those and watch them as well. They're very exciting and show an evolution of this laundry room change. I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.